Hello everyone, K-Dub here, and we are on episode 6 of Let's Play Skyrim, the Spell Sword Edition. So, in this episode, we are going to work on this miscellaneous class of finding Amran's family sword inside Halted Stream Cam. And then we're going to talk to Skior and see what he wants. At the Undercraft of the, fo of the Forge. Uh, so that's uh, what the dealio is, if we have some time left after that. Then we will go ahead and do something else. But right now we need to travel to Halted Stream uh, Camp, which is this way. So what I'm going to do, just to quicken things up, is I'm going to stop talking, and I'm just going to go ahead and get there. And then I'll start talking again. So I will talk to you in a little bit. We're here. Watch out. Who said that? Oh, you? Have some fire. So, where did this fine person go? Hello there. I hope you had fun trying to battle me. Well, I plan on having you die first. Yeah, so I figured we should probably start using some destruction spells because it's never going to increase unless I use it or if I get trained in training and get pretty expensive. So let's go ahead and loot these fine folks. I know there's one down that way. Where did this archer go? Uh, right here. Nothing special there. We had one that was trying to use the same spell as me. Some Nord meat? Why not? Nothing of value. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some of the chests that are out here. Let's see if I can unlock this first. Oh, almost did the first time. So that won't uh, flawless uh, garnet. Gold, yay! Thankfully, not survival mode, so we can just level up whenever we feel like it, and have a no instead of uh, having to sleep, which is no big deal because, uh, especially for me, because my first Elder Scrolls game was Oblivion, and you had to sleep in order to level up in that game, so... Um, more this way? Oh, almost. Here we go. So, it, it's not, like, a huge deal uh, for me personally, but for some people, they find that very inconvenient, and they're right. That's very inconvenient, but at the same time, it's sort of the reality of... It's the reality of the survival mode for Skyrim, so... Da, 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 da. So, I did want to comment a little bit on some world happenings. So, the attack on Israel, for example. And I work at a Jewish community center in the... I'm just going to take one of those. Because I don't want to carry all of them at the moment. I work at a Jewish community center in the children's section. Um, so that's like the daycare, child care section. And I have to say that, you know, since being employed there, I've grown to really respect uh, the Jewish faith a lot more in the Jewish culture. So what has happened today was not something I was... I didn't really like it very much. Of course, I wouldn't have liked it, even if it wasn't Israel, I would have said that is just plain silly. Um, but we are talking about 
possibly a lot of extremists. And when you have that mentality, that just increases the volatility of the situation. And this is not just a regular day. This was not just a regular day for them, because by the time I upload this, it's going to be past tense. This was part of the celebration of Simcha Torah, where they, uh, the Jews are celebrating sort of their last days of the Torah for their big celebrations, uh, because we had Rosh Hashanah. Oh, thank you for the alchemy ingredient. Recently. And Sukkot as well. Uh, so I was, you know, so when I heard about that situation, you know, I, I sort of kind of, I wouldn't say that I got pissed. Um, I'm not pissed about it necessarily, but I'm not, I'm very displeased. Uh, because as a practicing boost, and this is where Amran's family sword is, we have a flawed Varla stone, another flawless uh, garnet, and some gold. So that's all we're taking very light. We have some leather boots that we're going to take. We're going to take this ore as well. And I like alto wine, so we'll take that. So I was very displeased, and I'm not... I'm not going to say very much else than that. Uh, because... Well, I will say something else about that. I'm not a big fan of conflict. I think that conflict does not bring out the best in humanity. I believe that it brings out the worst in us. And so any type of attack is something that I'm going to denounce. And so I, I denounce the attack uh, for sure. I am not interested in supporting a group that does something like that. We have something now that we didn't have way back when we have ways to communicate with each other so that we all understand each other better and we can use our words and that's something we tell the kids all the time use your words use your words don't use your bodies use your words and use kind words use respectful words and I think that that gets lost when you bring in extreme passion or hatred um, or a passion for hatred. It's something that's it's remarkable uh, because we have come so far, humanity has, and yet we still fall into these traps where we're fighting over ideologies, over patriotism. Uh, over territory when it would just be so much simpler I can fast travel now so I should do that when it's just so much simpler and so and the cost is not as much in human lives if we can just find a way to say Got some good I disagree I don't know why I'm talking to you I want to talk to Amber I'm distracted by this discussion um, and, you know, obviously I'm going to be a little bit biased because I, I practice Buddhism. So I and so, for a Buddhist, generally, we're not looking for conflict. You tried mercenary work? It might seem and we're looking to reduce life, our hatred when I hold and my all that. Daughter in my arms. I know I made the right choice. I have your sword. You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? I did indeed. Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. Thank you so much. So, one-handed increase. <laughs> we keep getting pushed along. Uh, thank you. Right then. Yes, right. All right, so I have something Once for I you as well. Money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Holda. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Maybe I can help you. you do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. 
Perfect. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? I like that. Here's your mammoth tusk. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Thank you very Farewell. much. Farewell. Um, so we can definitely sell stuff now. Here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Helgen. Anyway, I think just my main point, instead of babbling on about it, is we've had years and years and years of history fighting each other. Isn't it time to put the weapons down, talk about it, and let bygones be bygones? Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I'm just looking to sell stuff, dude, so I would like to get some fair prices now is that an idealistic philosophy at this point in time yes it absolutely is do i think it's possible maybe in the future yes i also think it's possible for the future and i'm gonna sell that um, what else can i sell here here it's not really worth very much so you can have that Do come back. Sure will. So I did want to mention that. That's huge news. I mean, huge. Having an attack on one of your major holidays is it's a kick in the nuts. Salt in the wound sort of situation. So next we gotta find out what Skewer wants, but it has to be later than this. It has to be dark. Let's wait an hour and see if that is helpful. So there's Skewer waiting for us. Hey dude. Are you prepared? I'm ready for whatever test is next. This is no test, new blood. This is a gift. Come inside. But, you know, I guess you could also throw the Fallout 3 for a phrase at me as well. War. War never changes. And that would be a fair assessment. A long time since we had a heart like yours among our numbers. That pitiful ceremony behind the hall does not befit warriors like us. You are due more honor than some calls at feasting. Mm -hmm. I would hope you recognize Ayla, even in this form. She's agreed to be your forebear. We do this in secret because Codlack is too busy trying to throw away this great gift we've been granted. He thinks we've been cursed. We've been blessed. How can something that gives this kind of prowess be a curse? So we take matters into our own hands. Right. To reach the heights of the Companions, you must join with us in the shared blood of the Wolf. Are you prepared to join your spirit with the Beast World, friend? So I don't have any mods in place where we can skip this and still do the companion storyline, so I have to basically become a werewolf to keep this going, so I'm just gonna say, I'm ready. Very well. Ouch. Alright, uh, let's... Take a sip. And now I'm a werewolf, yay! Awesome, so I can do these attacks. Whoa! Ha! Ha! And I can still float jump. Yeah, so I can brawl too. Yay! Isn't that great? It's also hilarious that I'm basically swiping this whole table and nothing falls off, right? I just like doing that for no reason. Roar! As the kids would say.
And yes, I still have a level up. I need to take care of that at some point. I should do that right now, actually. Uh, we'll put in health at the moment. Let's see, your heavier armor, we already have something in. We have one-handed as well. Is there anything else I want to put work into at the moment? Well, I think it might be wise to do some magic now. Uh, so that requires 40. Let's see here, but there is a 30, right? Here, here. so hack and slash, tax by access cause extra bleeding damage. That's helpful. Uh, but maybe next time. We're gonna go ahead and... Well, I gotta take a look at this. Um, so we can put a perk into that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in destruction. So that I don't use up as much, uh, magicka. Hello there, Are you Aiello. Aware? Yours was not an easy transformation, but you're still alive, so congratulations. Thank you. We even have a celebration planned for you. Yay! There's a pack of werewolf hunters camped nearby at Gallows Rock. Cool. The Silver Hand. I think you've met them before. Yes. We're going to slaughter them. All of them. We met them at Dustman's Cairn. Lead on. Skior's already scouting ahead. What just happened? You were born into the pack, brother. I almost envy you. That first time is always the most intense. You gave us even more trouble than Farkas did at his first turning. Oh, well, I'm sorry to be inconvenient. Does that mean I'm a werewolf now? You have the blood of the wolf in you. You'll need to build up your strength before you can call on it again, though. Just be careful where you do it. Some cowards in this land can't stand the sight of glory before them. I bet. What does it mean to be a werewolf? Nothing until you choose to use it. Then, well... You got a taste. Stronger. Faster. It doesn't last long, though. The blood of your foes can sustain you, if you're willing to feed. The more we feed, the greater our prowess will grow. We could perhaps discover even more gifts. Yes, so there's going to be a skill tree for that as well if I decide to use it. Where exactly are we going? The Silver Hand have taken over the old fort at Gallows Rock. They always make such easy prey. Is there a cure for this disease? Cure? Ha! Huh. You're sounding like the old man. I... I shouldn't say that. I love Kodlak. I respect and follow him. But he's wrong on this. It's no curse. We're made into the greatest hunters in the land. If he's worried about some mead-swilling afterlife in Sovngarde, he's free to pursue it. I'll take the glories of the hunt right here. Absolutely. Um, I don't really want to train in archery, so we're just going to go ahead I'll take and my leave, then. We'll do this. I'll take my leave, then. Yes, you will. Alright, so charge! Here we go. Uh, let's see here. Hold on one second, folks. I want to check my uh, magic. Uh, I'd like that, and I'd like Hope Flesh as well. Alrighty, so now there are a couple up this way, so I'm gonna take care of them. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Well, uh, not likely to get much in the way of disease right now, but thanks for the for poison to Let's see if there's any more good loot here. A powdered mammoth tusk. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had that as an alchemy. Let's take a look and see what that does. Restore stamina. Okay. Awesome. Pine thrusts. Egg. I forget. Restore stamina as well. Anything else that I need to test out? That's resist magic. That's invisibility. What da 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 da? Murder is just do that. Do this. That's also resist magic. I don't know. Disease. 
I just want to sell the frost salts. I don't want to use them. The reels. That's <laughs> damage health. Restore stamina, right? Yep. Yeah! Sounds like me. But I'm trying to loot the kits. Yeah! Alright, so into Gallows Rock we go. I'm thinking if I try to whiz through this, I can definitely get this done over with. Imp Look at this. Cowards must have locked the place down after Skior charged in. You can taste the fear. Yeah, well, I, can you get out of my way, please? But I can open this. Alright, folks, time for some oak flesh. Takes up a lot of the magicka, but oh well. We can always put a perk into that. What was that? Only me! Thank you for more stuff that I could possibly sell. Potions are good, horse hides are good, we can make some leather. Not saying I'm gonna work on uh, the smithing skill much, but there's a dead one, isn't there? Thought so. So we have human flesh and a wolf pelt. Nobody we know by the smell. Some can't separate the animal from themselves. Go feral. This poor sod could right. have anyone. We should keep moving. Yeah, I'm on my way. No surprise. <laughs> Skeever. Watch out for the trap. There's one up here. Can't win this. Yes, I can. Hi there. Good to see you. Don't mind me killing you. Alrighty, so here we go. Nothing we can do for these ones now. now I will say up front that I do not like playing as a creature. But at the same time, it is a little bit entertaining. So we'll go ahead and we'll use our beast form when we get to the final room, I think. Wheat. Use that for restore health. And you're dead. Poor orcs. Nice try. I think that's all of them here. And we can actually use that uh, mud crab chitin to make some more cure disease. Yeah, so I am not a big let's play Skyrim as a vampire. Let's play Skyrim as a werewolf person. Uh, I'm more of a Let's just play as my regular character or person. Hmm. No, it's not even worth the effort. It's not worth wasting the lockpicks. There could be something decent in there, but there's no way to know for sure. If it's anything like Oblivion, uh, Skyrim's predecessor, there's probably nothing in there. That's super valuable. Only me! Oh, I can try and unlock this. Ooh, first time. Who'd have thunk? Anyone here that wants to die? Nope. We can take some more potions. The coin purse. There's an alchemy ingredient there. I see uh, 
Petty soul gem that's filled. We're getting close now. Be careful. Their leader is a tricky one. They call him the Skinner. Mm -hmm. I don't think I need to tell you why. I don't think so. That I think it's a pretty self-explanatory name. Alright, so let's go ahead and activate Beast Form. So that would be under Powers, Beast Form, and I think gotta press L1. Or is it R1? R1! Here we go! Hi there, folks! Don't mind me, I'm just gonna kill you. Pardon me while I kill this person. You're good at blocking. Oh, there's Skior. Somehow they managed to kill Skior. He was one of the strongest we had. Numbers can overwhelm. He should not have come without a shield brother. Get out of here. I'm going to make sure we've got the last of them and see if there's any information to be gotten from the bodies. You and I have work to do. The silver hand will tremble at our sight. Sure. What's our first target? Good that you're so eager. I've caught wind that one of the brighter silver hand has been sniffing around Winterhold. If you can sneak into their camp and steal his plans, We'll have the advantage. Or just kill them all. Well, I'm trying to get out of beast form here. So I can loot things. There's no one else to kill. I know my stamina is low. Why does this take forever? Well, it it takes forever when you actually want it to stop. But then when you're like, hey, I want to stay in my beast form a while longer. It's like, nah, 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 nah. That's not how that works. Oh, I can close this door. Sweet. Oh my goodness gracious, can we please get out of this beast form? I'm trying everything to make this go faster, but... There we go. Finally. So let's go ahead and loot. Madness or you say, I'll take that. Potion of the Warrior you say, I'll take that. Ah, oh, poor Skewer. Hmm, nah, I don't want to take that particular armor. It's not too great. I'll take some of the stuff off of your hands. And some stuff off of your hands. Where'd their leader go that I demolished? Nothing for you from you. Okay, great. And there's nothing over here, right? Nah, not really. And how about over here with the skelly? Some iron boots and an iron greatsword, that's not anything special. So I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna end the episode here and then in the next episode we'll get out of here. And uh, then we will continue with this storyline for a little bit, I think. It's not as boring as I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to just go ahead and keep on going. So until next episode, everyone, take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye for now.